Good day. Happy New Year. Welcome back. I'm Andrea Mitchell, live in Washington. Great to be back. The president has extended his Hawaii vacation by one day before heading back overnight to Washington tonight. He'll be met by a new gang in town, House Republicans, some already spoiling for a fight. The new sheriff on the beat, incoming oversight chairman, Daryl Issa, who has reportedly drawn up a long checklist of areas to investigate. Trying to check him will be the committee's ranking Democrat, Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings, who now joins us from Baltimore. Happy New Year. Welcome, Congressman. Good to see you. Happy, happy New Year to you, Andrea, and it's good to be with you. Well, thanks for joining us, but uh, right, right off the bat, you're going to face Daryl Issa's reported wish list for investigations. Let's take a look at what he's planning to investigate. He's talking about going after Wall Street regulation, jobs, foreclosure crisis, Fannie and Freddie, the FDA recalls, corruption in Afghanistan, WikiLeaks disclosure, and in fact, he wants to bring in the National Security Advisor, Tom Donilon, and that could create a whole executive privilege problem, a White House staff member, not traditionally a uh, although there is precedent for it, testifying before Congress. Uh, how are you going to pick your battles against Daryl Issa? Well, first of all, Andrea, I am uh, concerned about making sure that the committee operates like it's supposed to. Um, my friend Mr. Issa has already come to conclusions where he said just yesterday on national TV that the uh, Obama administration is corrupt. And I, I tell you, it's kind of hard for uh, folks to be in judgment of, of any administration when they haven't even gotten the facts together or call one witness, but they come to conclusions, and that does concern me. Uh, we're going to look at every single uh, issue that Mr. Uh, Issa wants to bring up, uh, and we're going to make sure that we do everything in our power to stop it from being a partisan attack. Our, our committee is about the business of oversight and government reform, and so... Uh, we spent a lot of time overseeing, but we've got to make sure we also reform. And so uh, we're going to work with uh, Chairman Issa. Uh, he has already agreed that the first hearing that we'll have will be with regard to foreclosure with the net 11 million people uh, standing, the possibility of losing their houses. I thought that that was a good start, and hopefully, uh, you know, we will move forward to do those things that the American people want us to do. Now, now Andrea, let me be clear. A lot of people uh, got the wrong message on November 2nd. They, uh, uh, and, and they thought that maybe the people did not want us to work together. Well, the fact is that people do want us to work together. They want us to work together, Republicans and Democrats, to solve their problems. And they're not anxious to see a, a, a lot of sniping. They want to want the government to work for them and not against them. Well, let me play a little bit of what uh, Congressman, the incoming chairman of House Oversight, Daryl Issa, said on CNN yesterday. When you hand out a trillion dollars in TARP just before this president came in, most of it unspent, a trillion dollars nearly in stimulus that this president asked for, plus this huge expansion in, in health care and government, it has a corrupting effect. When I look at waste, fraud, and abuse in the bureaucracy and in the government, this is like steroids to pump up the muscles of waste. Do you I, disagree with the way he's laid this out, or do I, you think he's jumping to conclusions? I think he's jumping to conclusions because he has no evidence. Again, keep in mind, uh, Mr. Issa, Chairman Issa, will have the power to bring any single uh, person or company, subpoena them, almost single-handedly. And it's kind of, it does concern me, and it concern, it's to concern everybody, in, in, including the Tea Partiers, uh, that one can come to a conclusion before they hear any evidence. And I think it should concern all of us. So, Congressman, let me just ask you, let me just ask sure. you about the rules. Let's say that he tries to bring Tom Donilon, the National Security Advisor, in and get him to testify about WikiLeaks, about how that State Department computer system was so vulnerable to allegedly one private's uh, downloading. Now, would you op oppose that, or do you think that the National Security Advisor should have to testify? 
I think that we should, we, uh, Mr. Ice and I should sit down, uh, try to figure this out, make sure that there is no uh, harm being uh, bought, or our country is not threatened. Uh, perhaps sit down uh, with the administration and work out a plan by which we can get the kind of information that we need. Um, Andrea, when a few years ago, when I first came to Congress, uh, I saw what happened during the Clinton administration, and I saw an abuse of power, bringing in people, uh, taking them through depositions, uh, uh, ruining their, 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 their reputations. We can't have that. Um, we're better than that. And I am, I am convinced that we can do this right. I've had a reputation for trying to make sure that government lives up to a very, very high standard. And I'm going to continue to do that. And I have done it in a bipartisan way. And I look forward to working Mr. with uh, Chairman Issa to accomplish that. And, and we can accomplish that. And I, that's what the American ex people expect of us. Elijah Cummings, thank you so much. See you down here on the opening day. And how thank will you. all this set the stage for the 112th Congress and its relationship with the White House? Joining me now, Chuck Todd, NBC News Chief White House Correspondent, NBC Political Director, co-host of The Daily Rundown. Hey, I missed you, buddy. I missed Good you, to too. Good to see you, and Happy New Year. Uh, well, let the battle begin. I mean, it's very clear from what Daryl Issa has had to say, and the fact that Elijah Cummings was chosen because he is uh, a uh, tough guy. Well, let's remember, they basically, the White House and the House Democratic leadership, fired the previous uh, chairman, uh, Adolphus Towns, because they didn't think he had the, basically the political backbone and standing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Issa. Obviously, uh, the Democrats believe Congressman Cummings does. Where, where are the first battles? Clearly, there's going to be a symbol.